Apex City called Kujira or The Whale. Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpus biomon. Dunno, a uh, neurovirus, or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. You mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. 
Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or... Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you... Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit by their client. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, adios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Give them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neurosocket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out and. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up. <laughs> really? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. 
Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam... Hmm... This should... I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Bird vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's really the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Ride for you. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. 
And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang made one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's work. To add to this ship's room, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. 
So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Dexter, talk to Dex. Yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Claim to want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego.